Hey guys, and welcome back to Brawl Stars, and today we are going to be playing with the Underworld Bow Skin, which is a really awesome skin for bow, and it's my favorite bow skin with pretty cool animations. Bow looks significantly different. The animations are different, and his super also looks different. So it's definitely uh, one of those skins where you are getting a full transformation with your brawler and that's why i think it's worth it but i just decided to uh share a bit of bow here in showdown underworld bow so you can get an idea of like uh, what the skin looks like in action and also to uh show off some fun moments i had here in showdown i didn't play too much of bow yet uh in general but i decided that uh he might be pretty good in showdown and he kind of is um his super definitely takes a little bit of getting used to because uh you have to kind of anticipate uh where opponents are going to be and i kind of realized after some time that the middle of the map was a pretty good spot to use his super in terms of uh, catching opponents and the middle of the map here on this particular map in general is a good place for Bo because he can well see what's going on um and make sure that he has enough distance from brawlers that might cause him problems such as edgar for example or frank right there and i was able to pick up that win by being able to get a little bit of distance on frank at lower health some of these showdowns i fared better in than others some i didn't play super well but uh every one i get into every one versus one i get into i feel like is a learning process for me so that's kind of why i like practicing in this game mode I feel like having had a good mix of 3v3s and showdown has definitely uh, made me a better player because both have uh, things about them that, uh, you know, sort of help you develop skills, it seems like, in this game in Brawl Stars. So, yeah, unfortunately right there, I, I didn't... That's sneaky, it's sneaky. Uh, there were already two Edgars that were fighting, so I was like, there can't be a third Edgar hiding in the grass there. But there was, and uh, had his Let's Fly gadget or his super ready to go. So I learned after that to definitely stay in the middle of the map when possible. Here, like I couldn't because I was getting backed up. Very lucky there was nobody behind me right here, but uh, I was just focusing the best I could. I also kind of learned that bow seems to be pretty... Uh, somewhat better with manually aiming although i still did a fair bit of auto aiming uh when i was in panic mode and pretty good situation here i was just trying to uh, let my opponents go down and one of my opponents does go down so i realized i should charge my super up a bit for that final situation get those uh power-ups there but unfortunately my opponent gets them i wasn't doing the best job of collecting those so in most of these showdowns, I was down by a fair number of them, uh, which meant uh, it was kind of an uphill battle, but I was still doing my best to try and uh, lay down some damage on my opponents. And I gave this guy a pretty good, pretty good uh, fight here. I'm trying to make sure I put up a good fight. And I, I, in hindsight, I would have put that super a little more in the middle of the map like a little more in the middle of the center rather than in that corner because uh, otherwise like Gale would have run into it there and uh, as it happened he didn't so yeah but you live and you learn so here picked up the two piece there but unfortunately the uh, second part was a trade so uh, I had to finish uh, like second or third and here ended up in a showdown with bb not really what i wanted but at the end of the day i still have space but i'm like i kind of need to get rid of bb before the uh fog closes in and of course bb's going back to heal which i'm like is not good because again i'm having less and less space to work with and i'm bb probably should know that like well, I don't know. I mean, she could have just waited for the circle to close down. Oh, I had her right there. Oh, man, I blew it. I really blew it right there. I had BB, 
and then she knocked me back into the fog. I should have had her. I was one hit away. If that one had like landed, uh, I would have gotten it, but my manual aim needs some work. So yeah, still fun nonetheless. Can we pick up that Bia? I guess we do. Taking out Bia. Six brawlers to go. Dynamite, always dangerous. If you catch a Dynamite in the right spot, you can take him out pretty easily, but he's all, always dangerous. So, I was trying to be cautious here. Give Dynamite the respect he deserves. I haven't really liked playing with the EMZ in Showdown, but uh, other people I've run up against seem to be doing a decent job of using EMZ. So I know there is a strategy to it. And here I was able to uh, almost pick up a nice two piece, but Barley just got out of reach. Three brawlers left. Again, right there, really should have put my super in the middle because uh, just a better odds of catching someone with it. Since people like to run through the middle, especially at the end. And now it's me versus EMZ. And that time I did a better job of putting my super where it needs to be. And I think, as you'll see here, it proved to be a good decision. So I get EMZ to come out again. She tries to use her super, but I keep just out of her range. And, oh, she's like one hit away. And my super actually picks her up. It paid off to put it in the middle. I'd said I should put it there and it paid off. So uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. Maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.